So this is a technical video to introduce you to the Scorpion rig that we're going to be animating with this week. Uh, and the first thing to do is to go and find the rig. So I'm just going to open up the uh, project brief, uh, which tells us how to find the rig. Now it's a free rig. It's a very, really, really nice rig. Um, and here's the uh, link here. So I'm going to copy and paste that, or rather copy it. Uh, and then then I'm going to uh, go to Google uh, and uh, actually I don't need to go to Google. I'm just going to paste the URL in the command line. And that takes us to Animation Buffet, which is a, another really, really nice source of free uh, animation rigs. Um, and this is uh, this rig was done by Kiel Figgins, who's a very, very talented uh, designer and rigger. So be sure to credit him anytime you use his um, his lovely uh, scorpion rig. Now, if you um, click on the link here, you will actually get uh, a set of different characters. So it, it comes with this character here, the little character and the scorpion. And it's actually the scorpion that we are interested in. Um, so go ahead and download that, save it to your desktop, uh, desktop, pop it in your assets folder under rigs, and then import it into your shot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to File, Import. Uh, I'm going to go to my desktop, uh, my uh, folder, my teaching folder, and assets where I keep all my rigs. Um, and I've got it stored under Bugs, Scorpions, and there it is. That's the one we want. I'm going to import that, and the rig should appear. So I'm just going to hit 6 on my keyboard, so we go to um, Textured Mode. Uh, and there it is. Now, it's a funny old rig. Uh, let me just um, turn some stuff off here. So under show, I'm going to go to show none and then show NURBS curves and polygons. Um, and it's um, it's interesting because it actually, uh, it's not obviously, it's not a real scorpion at all. It's sort of a uh, a scorpion as imagined by the manufacturers of, of Swiss Army knives. Uh, but nonetheless, it works very well. It's um, <clears throat> very, very uh, user friendly and very very good for our uh, purposes. Okay, so one of the um, uh, quirks of this rig is that when we first load it in, uh, it comes with uh, everything uh, turned off. So I'm going to go through the rig and turn off some of the um, main control. So here's the Here's the uh, COG control, also known as the COG, or center of gravity, which is the equivalent of the main control. So I'm just going to type on there in the channel box, and that will produce our main control there. Uh, so that's a very useful one. Um, and so I'm going to go back to the world control here. I'm going to turn on the uh, pinches, turn those to on, and you'll see we're going to get a little um, uh, little uh, pincher controls here which we can then use to uh, open these guys up uh, so we can get a little snapping action going there and let's also let's go back to the world control and let's turn on the um, let's see tail let's turn that on whoops O N Okay, there we go. So there's our tail control. And, uh, oh, I see that. Um, that then, um, wait a minute. Let me just go back. Um, tail off, let's see. Oh, I see. Okay, so that actually turns on, that turns on these um, uh, controls here. So what these do is allow us to uh, to control the 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 motion of the uh, tail, and we'll come back to those later because that's going to be very useful indeed. And this little control here, just I think that just stinger out one. Oh, I see. So you can actually animate the stinger uh, coming out if you like. So it's a very uh, functional little rig, very nicely done. Um, and here I'm going to turn on the head controls on. So that's going, that's that's this one here. And now I need to turn the head around. I'm not quite sure why all of these things are off by default. Um, but um, 
So basically you just want to go ahead and turn all of this stuff on. So where it says clause IK off, just set that to on. Just turn on all of the controls. It's really the, the, the most useful thing because everything here is stuff that we want. Um, so basically everything from uh, uh, head downwards should be switched to on. So once you've done that, you can start to see how the rig works. So you've got your, your main um, center of gravity control here, which moves the um, scorpion around. Right now the feet are set to IK, which is the usual position to feet. So we'll, we'll leave them as they are. If I select this um, leg control here, I can move the feet around in the usual way. Now you can, if you want, set the feet to FK by selecting this little control here and setting the IK FK switcher to 10. Now if I do that, suddenly I get these control curves appearing, which allow me to animate the uh, feet using the FK controls, but I don't recommend that. So I'm going to go back to the IK FK switcher, set that back to 1, uh, and then our IK controls reappear and we can animate the legs in the usual way. Up here we have pole vectors which allow us to adjust the uh, position of the elbow as it were. And it's the same with the pincers. We've got a um, IK control here which you can use to uh, move the pincers around but you can also animate them in, uh, FK if you want. And, and you can control it by going to this little guy here, this little switcher, uh, and turning that IK FK switcher to 10. And that will turn on the FK control curve so that we can animate the uh, pinchers, pincers using FK controls. But as I say, I don't recommend it. And I w I'm just going to set that back to 1. And we're going to use the, um, the FK uh, controls. So I'm going to go ahead, having done that, and create some of the um, uh, the useful controls that I'm going to be using the most often on this um, scorpion. So I'm going to go uh, to the and create a new shelf tab down here. Go to new shelf, and I'm going to call it scorpion, and hit OK. And the first one I'm going to go for is the center of gravity control, the cog. So I open up the um, script editor and then select that bit of script, middle mouse drag that, save it as a mill, go to the pointy down arrow, go to shelf editor and save that as COG, center of gravity. I'm going to stick to the naming convention that they've used. Uh, then I'm going to take the uh, right hand IK control and move that into the shelf go to shelf editor and I'm going to call that R claw for right claw uh, and then I'm going to select the left claw select that bit of script middle mouse drag save it as a mill pointy down arrow shelf editor and I'll call that L claw so now we're starting to get a a list of or a, a series of controls which we can select using the uh, shelf editor. I won't do all of them. Um, I'm just going to stick to those for now. Uh, uh, actually, we probably want the head as well. Head is always useful. Uh, and that also gives us that the head has certain sliders there so we can make his jaws open and shut. So I'm just going to add the shelf there. So let's um, just go in and reselect that. There we go. Head control, middle mouse drag, save it as a mill, pointy down arrow, shelf editor, head, and save all shelves. Okay, so that's a brief introduction to the um, to the Scorpion rig. Um, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is go ahead and set a uh, project. So I'm going to go to Project Window, uh, New Scorpion walk. Actually let's have a little underscore in there. Scorpion underscore walk. Accept and I'm going to set to that project. Set to the project. Uh, scorpion walk. Set. Uh, 
And now I'm going to save it. So save scene as scorpion walk underscore V001. So now I've got my rig saved with everything turned on that I want turned on. So it's now basically set up. So uh, that's uh, an introduction to the rig. Um, so in the next video, you can go ahead and watch the tutorial where I'll be demonstrating how to animate it.